Yo, what's up guys? Mitch Mokum here and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K24 My GM Mode. I've already prepared the show for this week. As you can see, the show cost is only 13 and a half K. And that is because I want to save up some money to actually sign Shawn Michaels and Undertaker to full deals until the end of the season. There's nothing really I want to upgrade here yet. Let's have a look quickly at the power cards. We have another fixed match that we could buy. Um... I think we're gonna skip it this week and we're gonna book this show so let's confirm the booking hopefully it doesn't cost us too much but i really want to save my money so let's sim smackdown and raw and have a look at how our show is doing brown breaker versus Sami Zayn in the opener Sami with the win and their rivalry advances in a great three and a half star opener that's good we got a call out from Solo Sokoa that doesn't work. Dakota Kai versus Felon Henley. Dakota Kai with the win. Only two and a half star. That's fine though. No rivalry started. These guys take their rivalry to tier four. That's really good. Ricochet versus Grayson Waller. Ricochet with the win. In an okay two and a half star match. Shawn Michaels with a self promo gained one popularity. And our main event, Tommaso Ciampa versus Bronson Reed. And Brunson wins it. Okay. Three and a half star match. Also a tier four rivalry. So pretty decent booking from us this week. Wasn't anything great, but it was decent. Yeah, I think we did all right. Good booking. Let's have a look and see how our show did. So we got a show quality C and a match card quality C. 34k fans. And we made 260k. That's what we want. We want the big bucks. I like tonight's NXT, keep it coming. Thank you, Mr. Dude. Feels like it's Dakota Mania at NXT right now. Wonder how long that will last. Shawn Michaels was called out by Solo Sokoa tonight. Looking forward to seeing them settle things in the ring. Really liked tonight's match with Brum Breaker and Zayn. One of the best pair of clash, uh, classes in the ring. I agree. The rivalry between Tommaso Ciampa and Reed is, getting to, is just getting plain crazy. <laughs> Happy to fight you anytime, Undertaker. Only one way it ends. And does anyone actually care that what Shawn Michaels has to say? Yeah, we do. He's a freaking legend. What are you talking about? So we're nearly at the same fan size as SmackDown, which is not great. The Kodakai. Something I've been wanting to say for a while, boss. I'm getting a little tired of being the bad girl in the all the time i want to hear the crowd cheer for me not boo me in every show and i know i do a better job in that role how about it um yeah we can we can turn her heel or turn her face sorry yeah hey boss i've been talking with bray a lot lately and he had the great idea that we should team up for a tag match i think we'd actually make an awesome tag um sure why not right all right, Tommaso Ciampa wants a, a tag team match, so let's book that. A normal match, Tommaso Ciampa with Bray Wyatt. There he is. Um, versus Karrion Cross and Braun Breaker for the tag match titles. Could be cool. Uh, let's have that as the second one for now. Uh, we also promised Let's have a look. Roll change for Dakota Kai. So she wants to be a face, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, yeah. How are you guys' stamina? Pretty poor. So let's have Solo Sokoa call out Shawn Michaels to grow their rivalry. Um, Braun Breaker is in a tag team action this week. So let's have Zemi Zayn call him out then. To make that a tier 4 as well. Now we just have to fill the show. So let's have a look at stamina. CLE has, pretty, uh, has a lot of stamina. Let's have her fight Fallon Henley. No rivalry on cooldown. So you're going to fight Ivy now this week. Let's swap them around then. And then... Uncle Howdy has pretty decent stamina. And he could fight Finn Balor or Undertaker. 
I'd much rather have... Hmm... Thinking, thinking, thinking. Let's have Grace on Water versus Ricochet once again. And then... This is tough though. Let's have Uncle Howdy versus Bronson Reed. I know it's not a great matchup, but kind of need something there. So these guys are in a rivalry already. So let's put them as the opener. So you guys could do like a, a table match or something. Just have some fun. You guys as well. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what I want to do. So these guys will progress the rivalry. They wanted the tag match, so they got it. Uh, is there anything I really want here? Not really. Power cards. Ooh, health spa is good. But it's 22k though. Nah, I don't really fancy that. So we got a road change for you. Call out and a call out. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. All right, let's book this week's show. 26k. And hopefully we don't lose too many fans on SmackDown. We got the opener, Grayson Waller versus Ricochet. Ricochet wins it again. Mediocre two-star match, really? And you guys already had a tier one feud. So the Kodakai is going face. CLE versus Ivy Nile. This is just a, a like a filler show, right? This week. Two and a half star, okay match. They grow finally to a tier 4. That's good. Uncle Howdy versus Bronson Reed. Probably terrible. Bronson Reed wins in a 2 star match. These guys progress also to a tier 4 rivalry. That is great. And then our tag team title match. And they win it. Tommaso Ciampa and Bray Wyatt. Alright. 3 star good match. Pretty good. That's a, like a little turn of events right on uh, NXT. Which is fun. Yeah, we had a terrible opener. Yeah, bad week from us this week. But you can't win it every single week. Tommaso Ciampa and Bray Wyatt work really well together as a tag team. That's good to know. Never would have expected the Gota guy to be a good guy. She is now. Wyatt and Ciampa take the NXT Tag Team Championship. Disappointing outcome for Cross and Breaker. I see Bronson Reed was up to the usual dirty tricks against Uncle Howdy. Okay. I like that every match in this week's NXT felt different from the last one. Keeps me interested. That's good to know. Crowd distracted me and Ricochet took advantage. So desperate, you're all pathetic, is what Grayson Waller has to say. Don't really get why NXT wants to push Brun Breaker. Well, because he's great in the ring. There we go. Raw and SmackDown, we don't really care about. And we got special promotion. Oh, and sure that you'll retain most of your fans this week. That's handy for when we have like a, a terrible booking week like we just had. Smackdown has some more fans than us now. That's not great. All right. Karrion Cross. Hey Regal, my time with NXT comes to an end this week. Can't say I've been loving it, but I would be prepared to stay another five weeks for 92k. Mm. Should we just do it? Kind of. Hmm. Let's talk figures. How about 64k? Okay, he's taking it. That's good. Runs and read as well. We're gonna be cheap on you as well. I don't want to spend too much money on these guys. He takes it as well. Undertaker. Hello, sir. Um, 250k, 15k for five weeks. How would you feel for 369 to extend your contract with NXT for 10 weeks? Um. Let's try it, see what he, what he wants. Okay, that's a deal, that's good. I told you Wyatt and I really hit it off as a team last week. Thanks for the pairing up. We're looking forward to the next tag match. Did you hear the crowd last week? And we got our first tag team win. I knew Bray and I would kill it, just keep putting us in tag matches and we'll keep delivering the ratings. That's good to know. And you proved yourself to me earlier when you gave me that title shot. Have to say I really look out for you. You really look out for your talents at NXT. He's really happy, man, and he's popular as well. That's good. Hi, boss. I think I'm coming down with something. Feel like I may have the flu. I don't think I would be a good idea for me to come to work this week, let alone take part in a show. Um, 
Hmm. What should we do here? Let her stay at home. We don't care about her. All right. There we go. Um, ensure that Ivy now fights this week. That's pretty handy. And we get a four week extension for a contract. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Can we put her in a match? Ivy now, where are you? There you are. Yeah, we can do that. Their stamina is fine. So that's, yeah, we already done that. All right, cool. Let's have a look at stamina. So should we go for more tag team action? We could actually do that. Let's have a tag team for Brown Breaker and Carrion Cross versus Bray Wyatt and Rick and uh, Tommaso. Yeah, their stamina is all fine. That's good. Let's have that as the opener. Tier four, tier four. Ricochet versus Grayson Waller. Then what else do we have? That's not already tier four. We can have Dakota Kai. Oh, hold on. How about we make this a triple threat match then? And have Dakota Kai in it. But her stamina is really low. Now we're going to save her for this week. Let's have a look. Do we have anyone else? We could have... Um, maybe Uncle Howdy versus The Undertaker, why not? Sure. Let's have the tag team on last. 70... Maybe like this. And we can do a self-promo for... Who do we want to push with their popularity? Yeah, maybe Shawn Michaels. When we do also need to do more training classes to get the achievements for this season. Let's do that for Dakota Kai because she's only level six. That could be good. Uh, maybe another one. Sammy is fine. Let's have it for Bronson maybe. Yeah, sure. All right, so another cheap week, which is good because we need to sign Shawn Michaels as well for a longer period of time. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's fine for this week. Probably a bad week again. Let's maybe use this one, the special promotion card. We don't want to lose too many fans. There we go. Confirm booking 12 and a half K only for this show. We got SmackDown and Raw to Sim. And then it's time for us. Ricochet versus Grayson Waller. Let's see if Grayson can finally get a win. He can. All right. Mediocre two-star once again. Terrible. Shawn Michaels gained three popularity. That's good. Ivy Nile versus Saya Lee. Probably also two-star. Yep. Thought so. The Kodak I gained five ring XP. That's good. Uncle Howdy versus Undertaker. Undertaker with the huge win. And an okay two and a half star match. Ring XP 9 for Brunson Reed. That's really good. And then we have our main event once again. The tag team match. And the heels win it this time. But it wasn't for the title. So a terrible booking show this week. But hopefully it doesn't hurt us too much. Because we played that power card. 45k for Smackdown. And 160k almost in profit. Raw did only 34k. And 115 in profit. Let's see about our week. Okay, 47k. There we go. That that was a, a really big uh, card that we played that week. And we made almost 270k once again. And we got the contract negotiation, which is great. Yeah, we're only 10k fans behind SmackDown. That's good. So only one more week. Oh, okay. Thank you, Teddy. Grayson Waller. Hey, my contract with NXT is up at the end of the week. Um, hmm. Grayson Waller, I actually want to keep. He's decent, he's level 11. Let's meet his asking price so he will be a little bit more happy. 
Uncle Howdy. Let's talk some figures. I'm happy to meet that as well. So he's happy, that's good. He got me once, but now I got my payback. Fair enough. Bronson Reed, I have enough crap working at NXT. It's been a complete joke. The only way you can convince me to stay is with a bonus of 100K. Okay, goodbye Bronson. And there we have Undertaker. William, I think we need to talk about my value on NXT. I feel I've only gotten better since joining the roster and my stock amongst the WWE Universe climbs every day. I may not be on NXT forever, but I sure wish I could be. I've given so much for this brand. What do you think for the job I've done? I absolutely appreciate what you bring to NXT. You're one of the top stars. In fact, I want to offer you a bonus of 50K for help carrying. Okay, sure. Let's give him 50K so you can be happy. They said money can solve every problem, but it definitely helps. Thank you, Regal. This means a lot. I'm glad to know I'm valued. And you've proven yourself to me before when you renewed my contract. I've certainly had my, had worse bosses. <laughs> See, talking about Finns. All right. Um, this is the final week until Fastlane. Ensure that your least popular available fighter is in a match this week. Nah, we don't care about that too much. And we've already done that. So this could be another cheap show. And then we could like go big for the PLE. Um, let's have a look. Is there any rivalries we still want to grow? We can have um, these girls once again. Sure, why not? Tier 4, Tier 4, Tier 4. Ricochet versus Grayson Waller. Also a Tier 2 rivalry. How's the rest looking? Um... Let's have Undertaker versus Uncle Howdy once again. And then should we have Bray Wyatt run in maybe? Yeah, we could do that. Let's have this as the opener. And should we go again for the tag team boys? Let's have a look and see if their stamina is good. Oh, oh! because Bray is running in. Hold on. There we go. Stamina is okay-ish. Yeah, Brown Breaker might be uh, getting injured after this next Peely. But oh, we're still going to do it. I kind of want to see this. All right, we're gonna book another self promo. Who should we use though? Um, maybe Dakota Kai, because she's happy that, oh no, 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 no. We wanna do training with her. She needs ring XP. Let's have Shawn Michaels in a self promo and then maybe have Sokola in a training. Solo Sokoa, maybe he can get to level 15. That would be great. Let's do that as well. Okay, these guys will open the show because Undertaker's popular. These guys level two, level two, level two. Let's throw them a fun stipulation. How about a tables match? Just to do something, right? Um, yeah, this is what we're gonna do for this week's show. Let's have a look at the power cards. Get the tables. One randomly booked table match on your show will be higher rated than normal. 33K for that, that's crazy. And I don't care about these. Yep, let's um, secure this booking, 17 and a half K. So another cheap show from us, but we need the money for now, which is really good that we're making so much money per show. That's really handy. So let's sim Undertaker versus Uncle Howdy in the opener in a table match and the Undertaker with the win. Good three-star match, no rivalry started there, which is fine. The Kodak Eye gained five ring XP, that's really good. Xyali versus Ivy now. Will their rivalry go up? Yes, it will, to a level three. Okay. Shawn Michaels with a self promo again, once again, to gain three popularity. Ricochet versus Grayson Waller. Will they also go to a level three rivalry? Yes, they will. Ooh, three and a half star, man. Okay. 
2 ring XP for solo. And once again, our tag team champions in action. None title though. And they win. All right. Great three and a half star as well. And they're also a tier three rivalry. So that's something we can work on after the PLE. But we might do some trading this, uh, this year. Ooh, Roman Reigns is on SmackDown. Didn't know that. So we had a decent showing. Not great. SmackDown was really consistent this week. Smackdown at good. Oh, we all had good booking. Okay. Uh, let's continue. So show quality is C and a match card quality is C. 35k fans and another 260k. That's really handy. Bronson Reed has decided to seek another brand to work with. What a shame. I love Bronson Reed. I follow him to any brand. NXT is a joke. Glad to be free. Time to leave all the losers behind. So that's noted. We don't want him back on NXT. I like tonight's NXT. Keep it coming. Ivy now winning the run con winning run continues on a total rampage. Waller versus Ricochet was awesome. Their wrestling class fit each other so well. Tonight NXT started strong and ended strong. I like it. What a fluke. Try me again, Ivy now. I won't let it happen twice. Alright. So we gained a lot of money there once again, which is really handy for us. And we gained the scouting uh, power card. So we're slightly behind SmackDown, but it's time for Fastlane. Finn Balor. Hey boss, you've had me benched for a while. I really want to get back in the ring. It's time to time you woke up and put me back where I belong. I want to I want a match in the next show. Sure thing. No worries at all, Finn. We're just uh, letting you rest a little bit. Ricochet cheated on me in the last match. I want a rematch within two weeks. Okay, I can do that. All right. So now we can actually, uh, let's first of all buy the fast lane rev venue. That's uh, good for us. So now we can do all the tier four rivalries. So Braun Barrier versus Zami Zayn for a title match. We got Solo Sokoa versus Shawn Michaels for the world title. So these guys are going on last. Let's have Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. That's a, a fun mid-card match. Uh, and that's all we have for tier four rivalries. So we're gonna have Dakota Kai face against Xia Li. She's the only heel on our brand. And we'll have it for the women's championship. Yeah, it's not gonna work to do a tag team match here. And then let's have Ricochet versus Grayson Waller, they've been doing decent for us, so that's good. Let's have... Hmm, maybe... Oh, Finn Balor wants to be in a match. Swear. Let's make this a triple trap. And let's have Finn Balor in there as well. He wants to fight. There you go, Finn. Then let's have a self-promo from... Master Champ is already at 90, so he can actually do charity or advertising. Um, no, let's do charity from Tommaso. Should we do all charities because we want to have more fans? No, let's do a training for Ivy now. Let's do training for Fallon Henley. And let's do a self promo for Karrion Cross. All right, let's have a look. These guys have tons of stamina. Does Shawn Michael have a special match that he prefers? I would like him to be champion. Where is Shawn? There he is. Uh, oh, it already said it there. Extreme rules. All right. So we're, oh, we're, come on. There we go. We're gonna make this an extreme rules match. That's Shawn's match specialty. Braun Breaker versus Zami Sain. Do we want to put anything on that? We can make it a Hell in a Cell. Or a Backstage Brawl. Oof. Hmm. That's really expensive though. But I do want to do something crazy on this, uh, this PLE. Let's give these guys a table match. What is what does a last man standing match do? Oh, it's all low, low, low. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's have Undertaker win it. These ladies, they definitely need us. Um, 
Who's match specialty? CLE. Oh, do we want her as a title so the codec I can fight back to it? That could be fun. How about these guys in a triple threat? Hell in a cell. Who's specialty? Both Finn and Grayson Waller. That could be fun. So tier 4, tier 4 and a tier 4. I think the card looked great the way we build it up. Is there anything we actually want to buy? What does this do? No holes barred. Casket match for Undertaker. Special guest referee. Hmm. Let's have a look at the power cards. The bigger they are, only random book false count anywhere match. Nah. Don't really need any of that. Um, let's Fido Champ Smackdown for next week's show in case they have a rivalry that is not finished. Contract negotiation. Power punch. Cut it. Let's do a fixed match on Shawn Michaels. Where is he? There we go. I would really like him to be champion. That, that would be really cool to have that on NXT. All right, guys. I think this is going to be it. 214.5K for this entire show. Yeah, let's go. This is going to be a big, big show for us, hopefully. So SmackDown and Raw, we're going to sim. There we go, NXT with a ma massive show this week. Our opener, Braun Breaker versus Sami Zayn, backstage brawl for the title. Braun Breaker retains. Legendary five star. All right, that's what we're looking for, man. <clears throat> Great job, Braun. Tommaso Ciampa with an excellent promo, gained us 6,000 fans. Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker in a last man standing match. Bray Wyatt wins. Even though it was Undertaker's specialty. Four star match. Alright. Ivy now gained four ring XP. That's good. Dakota Kai versus Zaya Lee. And she does take it. In a great three and a half star match. Alright. We thought so. Fallon Henley gained three ring XP. And then we got a triple trap match. That was just a filler on the mid card, right? Grayson Waller wins it. Hell in a cell. Four and a half star match, all right. Crazy. Carrying Cross with an excellent promo, gain three popularity. And our main event, Solo Sokoa versus Shawn Michaels. Will Shawn win it? Yes, he will, because we did the fixed match on him. Shawn Michaels is our new NXT champion in a five star legendary match. All right, this was a great show for us, man. Have a look at the chart. Yeah, perfectly. Amazing booking as well. No injuries, which is great. So SmackDown gained 140k fans and 150k in profit. Raw did also above 140k and only 100k in profit. Now it's time for SmackDown. 176k fans. That what we that's what we like to see, and still 140k in profit. So it says, at the halfway point of the season, I'd give NXT a B grade. Some good shows for sure, but they haven't blown me away yet. Alright. Such a good way to close out the rivalry of Shawn Michaels versus Solo Sokoa. Shawn Michaels, definitely the king of the ring. I agree. One of the, probably the best in-ring wrestlers ever. Phenomenal show from NXT. Maybe it's just me. I think the perfect triple threat match has fan favorite outnumbered rule breakers. Okay. Love the Kodakai versus Xayah. Just got to show that you don't always need complementary fighting styles to put on a solid match. Tommaso Ciampa just killed it with a charity promo. Another successful title defense for Braun Breaker. It would be nice if NXT pushed somebody else for a change. <laughs> Alright. Shawn Michaels win the championship tonight off Sikola, Solo Sikoa. Yeah, he did. Alright, I think that was a, a, really good, uh, a really good show from us. We got some power cards really handy and we gained the lead again once again with 10k fans and now it's time to do some trading let's have a look at our show our roster actually um who's someone we're able to trade or we're willing to trade let me say that um so we kind of need a heel female let me have a look um 
we could do it on no we can't okay so our champion is a heal now we got her as a face who's gonna fight back for it ivy now is also a face yeah we need one heal so let's see what we can get for felon henley um way too expensive tamina no okay let's have a look at smackdown why is her trait unavailable no idea so we got alexa bliss charlotte and scarlet that's it okay and you're a cruiser so that's not gonna work uh, maybe they want to buy her then from us for 70k not 7k about 70k proposed trade oh he actually takes that all right thank you so i have 900k right now um so we need another female let's get rid of uncle howdy maybe because we're not really using him who do you have that i really want i would like a Ooh. will they ever do this and then we can just renew his contract nah that's too much bruisers and stuff um how about no they don't really have anything i want what's on raw cedric alexander i like him a lot um Dirty Dominic Mysterio. LA Knight. Honestly, they don't have anything great. How, do you just want to straight up buy Uncle Howdy from me? For like 35k? Did it again. I want it over here. Let's propose this. No. Keep talking. I'm listening. Would Smackdown do it then? Propose trade. Oh, also not. Uh, not a crazy proposal. Sweeten the pot and try again. Hmm. Maybe for like 32.5? No, also not. Not quite enough good. Not quite enough for my needs. All right. You can have them for 30k, but I'm going to do it too raw. Um, let's have a look. Because SmackDown is second, right? Let's see if they take it. Yep, they do. All right, that's good. Hopefully that helps to balance both of our rosters. Okay, and trading. Tony D'Angelo, a specialist. Ooh, do we want him? His popularity is really good. Do we want him? Hmm. I do have a big budget. No, I don't think so. Sorry, Steph. What does SmackDown want to offer me? Duke Hudson. A face fighter. No. I'm not paying 10k more for him than he's worth. No, thank you. Alright, that's it. Four weeks till Survivor Series. Triple H, hey, I noticed you haven't been making regular use of call-out promos. They're usually, they're a useful tool for you as GM. I didn't need a Triple H, to be honest. Thanks for the rematch against Ricochet. Told you I get the win for you, this, uh, the win this time, and you've proven yourself. Okay, so he's happy. That's good. I'm not happy losing my strap this week as a former champion. Uh, I absolutely want to put you in a title match, Dakota Kai. Ooh, this shake-up. Yoink, steal power cards from each opponent next week. Cannot steal GM or brand power cards. Okay, interesting. Uh, leading the pack, select a female or male superstar to gain 10 popularity whenever superstars who share the gender gain popularity. It is increased by 20%. Hold on, let me read that again. Select a female or male superstar to gain 10 popularity. Okay. Whenever superstars who share that gender gain popularity, 
it is increased by 20 percent oh so you can make someone like really popular okay generous commissioner whenever you complete a commissioner goal you have a chance of earning random extra power cards i think i'm gonna do leading the pack who's someone we want to make like really popular um maybe finn balor I wouldn't mind that. He's a heel fighter. He could go up against Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's good, man. All right. All right, guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.